stop. Whatever you're doing right now, just stop. Because Becky Lynch fans around the world, please do not believe this WWE news about your favorite girl. In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what that news is, why it's not true, and why you should not believe it. Because Becky Lynch wrapped up her time with WWE earlier this year when her contract with the company expired on June 1st as she dropped the Women's World Championship to Liv Morgan at the King and Queen of the Ring PLE. She wrestled her last match against Morgan two nights later on an episode of Monday Night Raw inside of a steel cage. While, yes, Lynch is expected to return to the company at some point, she's not expected to be back anytime soon, as the leave is expected to be extended. Now, WrestleVotes previously reported that Lynch's name is still listed on the weekly talent roster, and that's gotten people talking about, well, is she still with the company or not? Because if you think about it earlier this year, she won the Women's Elimination Chamber match, earning a shot at the Women's World Champion, Rhea Ripley. They battled at WrestleMania 40, and going into it, myself and a lot of others believed that it was going to be Becky Lynch who would dethrone Rhea Ripley. Heck, she had held the championship for over a year. It was time for a change, especially with the man coming around again. Obviously, that was not the case. Coming out of WrestleMania, Rhea Ripley entered into a program with Liv Morgan. And as we all know by now, Rhea got injured. They had to vacate the title. So, fast forward, Monday Night Raw, Becky Lynch, she is in a battle royale. She wins it, and then she obviously drops it to Liv Morgan. There's been a lot of confusion, if you will, with Becky Lynch as of late. She's starting to make outside appearances outside of the company. She really hasn't addressed her WWE departure, and that leads us to today's video. Because on a recent episode of Backstage Pass, the one and only Jonathan Coachman, former WWE interviewee and uh, color commentator, he stated that Lynch was reportedly asking for $2 million a year, but WWE opted not to do so because if they paid her, then she'd be on the show right now. Well, oh boy, that got people talking. Sources who spoke with Fightful shot that rumor down. Fightful reports that Lynch and WWE are on good terms as WWE respects Lynch's decision to take time off. The company stated that if Lynch wanted to sign a new deal before her absence, they likely would have done that. Sources outright denied the $2 million number, as Lynch simply did not ask for that, and they were told that WWE would have jumped at that number if she had, because Lynch's deal would have been well beyond $2 million a year. And they're right. $2 million sounds like a lot of money to you and I, and it is. However, to a wrestler, it's really not. You have to take into consideration a lot of factors. You have to take in the fact that they're 1099s. You have to take in uh, their tax bracket. You have to take in to their expenses on the road, right? There's there's a lot after that. So probably, let's say hypothetically she was making this $2 million. After taxes and after road expenses, she's probably netting 500000 a year, maybe 700000 a year, maybe, right? So, like, it's not a lot of money. So do not believe that news. I, I saw that going around. I reported on uh, the news on Wrestling News Co. Don't believe it. it. It's not true. $2 million, way too low for Becky Lynch. Way too low for a top-tier WWE star, regardless of gender, right? Whether it's a, a male or a female, that's way too low. If you think about Charlotte Flair, she's reportedly the highest-paid talent in WWE. I had heard a number of $7 million a year. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard that number. Mercedes Monet is reportedly the highest paid female star in all of pro wrestling over in AEW. We don't know an exact figure on her contract. But Becky Lynch, $2 million, that's way too low. And I've talked about this recently of, does WWE need to bring back Becky Lynch? You look at their talent roster right now. You look at where they're at in the business do they need Becky Lynch right now? Probably. Why? Well, she's a huge star. She's a powerful name. She brings star power. She is a notable talent. Outside of the women's division, she's they're one of their biggest stars, right? She's arguably their biggest star in the women's division. She's right up there with Charlotte Flair. She's right up there with Rhea Ripley. 
Bianca Belair. But outside of the female division, it's like she's one of their biggest stars. When, If you recall earlier this year, WWE faced an issue. They had a severe problem of having contracts slated to expire. And they had to resign a bunch of talent at the closing wire, including Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch opted not to re-sign with WWE. Ricochet opted to leave WWE. Seth Rollins, Drew McIntyre, Natalia, Angel Garza, a lot of them opted to re-sign with WWE to stay with the company. And rightfully so. WWE has never been hotter. They're making more money than ever. So there's a lot of reasons as to why you would want to stay in WWE. Becky Lynch, on the other hand, she has a young daughter at home. She has been on the road for over a decade, right? Going back to her independent days, two decades. She's put a lot of work in. She's put a lot of miles in. She's spent a lot of time away from home. And there is something to be said about not missing out on the early days of childhood, right? Uh, as a as a father myself, I got a five year old, which is insane to think about. He's about to turn six in about two months, and it's like a blink of the eye. I can't imagine what it would be like for a wrestler who is gone X amount of days a week. Now, obviously, they had a worse schedule back in the day. You know, seventies, eighties, nineties, early two thousands, horrific schedule. You know, you're you're home a day and a half, right? Like, what what kind of life is that? Now they have a much reduced schedule. Props to WWE for introducing such a schedule. But it's still a brutal schedule, right? Uh, yeah, you go a few weeks where you, you don't have to work necessarily a bunch of live events. But then you have to do what they're doing now where they, they go to Saudi Arabia. And then they have to go to the UK and they have to tour. And they're gone for a week and a half. It's like, that's rough. That's rough on marriage. That's rough on kids. And so Becky Lynch, she's opting to be at home. With her daughter. And her husband's on the road. Doing his thing. Seth Rollins, right? So they... Fortunately for them, while it's hard schedule-wise, at least they understand the business. They're in the business. They come from the business. So you can kind of manage expectations a little bit. Rather than a husband at home, a, a wife at home, right? It's just... It's a little bit different in that regard. But, hey, I take I take my hat off to Becky Lynch. Do her thing at home enjoying it being a mom props to her credit to her and uh, we'll see whenever Becky Lynch returns but she'll be back just just give her some time she'll be back